Hey guys and welcome to this quick London session recap. We're going to be looking at the whole entire London session from 2 a.m. and until 5 roughly. Here's my higher time frame analysis. We have sell side at the previous day slow. We also have sell side here. We could mark this up, but I don't want to have too many things on my 15 minute chart. I like to keep that clean. We have the new day opening up, which also has not been filled in completely. And we have the high of the current week buy side. We have a high probability fair value gap because it already su supported us here or delivered resistance. That's exactly what we wanted to see. We closed below, we shifted market structure, we delivered lower. We started to fill in this new day's opening gap. Couldn't make it and we continue to sell off even more. So this would also, in my eyes, this fair value gap, we have respected it with the candle bodies would also be a high probability fair value gap or a high resistance fair value gap on our way to the upside. So I definitely want to make sure I keep track of that. But other than that, that's where we are right here for the London session. I do not expect price to rally all the way up into this fair value gap. So I'm only focusing on what I'm working with right here. We have two 15 minute fair value gaps. We have our New York midnight open level and we have buy side. What did we just do before we had this bullish engulfing candle where we closed above this 15 minute double volume imbalance? We took out a short term low. We actually also left equal lows right here. So we could label this as short term low cleared. All right, so we go on a five minute time frame now. Price, as, price action doesn't look as beautiful as usually on a five minute, but it's 155 let's wait for that next candle it is now 2 a.m the london kill zone has officially started and yeah let's just go from here and see where we go all right so we see we close below the midnight open and what did we leave behind equal lows let's see what that next candle will do all right a not a bullish engulfing but we closed back above the new york midnight leaving behind three equal lows. We keep holding support on that New York Midnight. From here on, we make our way back up above this 15 minute time frame double volume imbalance. We're just gonna keep track of it. Might get used in the future. We left behind a new five minute volume imbalance. So we can also mark this one up and see how it delivers. We have our buy side just here, so let's see. In the very next candle, we create equal highs. What we could do potentially is a trade long of this volume imbalance. You can either place your limit right here at the high of the volume imbalance or the low. The problem would be if you place it at the low and we just tick into it and we do not go lower than this, you maybe would miss your fill. But overall, if we want to see the spy side being attacked, the first question would be, okay, where would I place my stop loss? How much room do I want to give it? And what support levels do we have that could support price? Let's say we get a pullback that could support price and to eventually deliver us into buy side. For me, my main attention goes to the New York Midnight. I know we have three equal lows below, so I do not want to give it all the room down to the downside. This would be stupid, but I would give it one two ticks below the new york midnight because i really expect support here in case we get a wick or whatever you just have to account for that i place my entry right here at the low and i would target a simple one to one really <clears throat> because it's pre 2 a.m it is 1.5 handles we could also go for two if we really want to but this is just a yeah a scalp i would say i wouldn't want to do a three to one based on this setup. This is just a continuation play into buy side liquidity. And that's all it is, but you can still make money on those moves. So let's see on that next candle, we open with a volume imbalance down. We haven't filled that one in. So we also label this, we also mark out this volume imbalance, five minute time frame. But we see we already got some nice rejection. We now filled in this lower volume imbalance and we still have this 15 minute right here. So I'm going to paper by one contract here and we just watch this trade. On the very next candle, we tap the New York Midnight perfectly and look how we rejected from this level. 
And let's see if we can't make our way to buy side. That's 240. We have 20 more minutes. All right. And another doji, second doji. And we continue into buy side. Note how we close above it. It's 250. We can label this as buy side liquidity taken. We're still in profit. Right now, I would trail my stop loss pretty much to break even. So I can't do this, unfortunately, here on trading view. Let's see if that next candle delivers. Yes, and we can close our position. That's all we've been aiming for pretty much. That's 100 bucks on our account. The small little two-handed scalp played out perfectly. So now it is 255. We are just a few. The next candle is going to be the London Open candle. And what I really want to point your attention to is if we cut through buy side, we are inside this bearish 15 minute fair value gap. The question I ask myself, or I should ask myself at least, this morning I sort of forgot about it because I was also trading the Scarpa strategy at the same time. But how did we cut through the buy side liquidity? We left behind a new discount. So all my attention. Order flow is bullish right now. I'm not trying to frame a short just of this 15 minute fair value gap. We have one right above here. And we also had a higher time frame fair value gap right around this area. Not trying to force a short just based on this. And if we also take a look at this one right here, we can see that we close above the 50% level. So yeah, this is not really what I would like to see. And we could also check the 15 minute time frame. On the 15, we also close above the 50%. This looks more bullish to me. I know we have all the sell side liquidity here. All those equal lows, even right here on the midnight level. But right now, order flow is bullish. And I'm not going to switch my bias until I get confirmation. Confirmation for a potential short would be, let's say London Open engulfs this bullish candle. And we close below this most recent discount that price has left behind if we close below that and also manage to close below those two volume imbalances i would consider taking a short into the sell side but until this hasn't happened my bias is bullish so what could we do we could place a limit order right here on this fair value gap we could even use the 50 percent because we could expect some retracement during this one right here but let's have a look sell side liquidity we ran for buy side now we're good so let's just see how london opens up and we see we get our fill first of all i forgot about talking this forgot about talking about the stop loss so what i would have done here i didn't take the straight live i don't know i i froze up this morning somehow because i already made some good profits this week i didn't really feel like risking anything right at the London Open. I, it's about capital preservation on Fridays, especially if you made some decent profit during the week. So I wasn't really keen about risking an entry or just placing a buy limit right at the London Open. So I would have placed my stop loss one tick below the low of this candle. This is a short term low below the midnight that should also offer support in case we get down there. And this doesn't mean so that's just a two handle loss. We already secured two handles. Could have been worth the risk, to be honest. And yeah, I would cut the position or pretty much exit the trade early if I get confirmation that we close below this most recent five minute discount that price has left behind. I would target this next 15 minute fair value gap. We could also use our 50 percentages, our percentages ranges, and maybe target the first quarter of this range. This would be a 3.5 handle move. Yeah, that's fine. But I would even be fine with three handles because we already secured two. Just going for low hanging fruit, not trying to max anything out. All right, on that very next candle, we continue further to the upside. Note what we leave behind. Get away. We leave behind equal highs. Next candle touches this bearish fair value, uh, bullish fair value gap once more and at 315 we filled it in again leaving equal lows but we haven't had a single candle close below this bullish fair value gap so right now in my opinion order flow is still bullish at least that's how i'm looking at the chart very next candle we clear those equal highs 
and how do we clear them? We close above them. So no reason that we have to exit this position early. We're just gonna keep watching it and our free hand to take profit target would have been hit. Very simple. I just didn't take this trade right here on paper now because I would have set my limit order right here. And yeah, you can only do market orders once the candle is closed right here with trading new paper trading. But yeah, it is what it is. So even with of our trade right here that we had initially with our stop loss one, two ticks below the midnight to give it some more breathing room, we never closed below it. If this candle would have closed below this volume imbalance right here, I would have closed the position. That's not what I would have liked to see. I already didn't like to see this bearish volume imbalance, unfilled even, if I would have been in that trade. But yeah, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. So two handles, that's five handles already for the London session. Let's see how we continue. Right now it is 3.25. We continue to push into this 15 minute fair value gap. Let's go to the 15 itself. And before we get this down closing bearish rejection candle, note what are we doing? We close above this 15 minute fair value gap. And now this becomes a inversion fair value gap. We kept on holding resistance here. We pushed through it. So now we want to see support and ideally no close below that if we want to continue bullish on our 15 minute higher time frame. So we go back to the five. We left behind plenty of discounts. All right. We saw we got into our upper 15 minute fair value gap. So I'm watching these levels if they are being respected. On that very next candle, we can see, okay, we already filled in that first discount we left behind. And on the following candle, we close below all those discounts. So we close below both of these bullish fair value gaps, which led me to believe that we are going to attack some sell side. What did I do? I placed my limit order right here at the low of this fair value gap right here, because it's now an inversion five minute fair value gap. My stop loss was one tick above the high of this candle. And I simply targeted those equal lows, which would be 2.75. I went for 2.5 because we have this bullish fair value gap here that kept supporting price already. Also the set of volume imbalances that also kept on supporting price. Not trying to go for everything. 2.5 handles is enough two contracts on there. And that's equal to a five hand move. But because we are in a London session, I'm not trying to fully max out and always go for five or ten handles you can do that during the new york session all right so very next candle got me my fill and i entered with two contracts right here i closed the first contract once we closed above this inversion fair value gap this is not what i wanted to see i still left one contract on because, yeah, my stop loss is here anyway. If I close both, I can just wait for the other one to be tapped out at a full exit. We will see. That very next candle closed back below our inversion. So this was just a little fake out. It's hard to... Mm, it's active risk management is what I like to say. You, you test an approach. You test, okay, how can I get in into a potential sell-off after we disrespect that bullish fair value gaps, flipping them into inversion fair value gaps, how could I get into a potential continuation to the downside here? This doesn't mean that order flow is super bearish and we're going to take out all the loss. This could just be a little pullback. So I use the inversion fair value gap. I target 2.5 handles, even if it's just two handles. But yeah, with this uh, active risk management approach, I can cut my risk. So I don't actually take full losses at all. If I see, because I'm already looking at price action a very specific way, and if I don't see what I prefer to see on the chart, like for example, this gap to the upside, close above those inversions, that's not what I would have liked to see. And also note that this 15 minute fair value gap is now also an inversion. So we could easily see support inside of this two now. So I closed one contract out of two and I kept on waiting to see if I'm being tapped out or if we actually continue lower. So this was just a little 
fake out, you could say, some spoofing. And we continue to deliver lower. We see some resistance inside of this bullish fair value gap. Next candle delivered the 2.5 fair in the target. So we're done here. And see, immediately we get a bullish reaction of this area. That's why we're not targeting the New York midnight. Just go for the low hanging fruit target, especially on Fridays when you already made some profits during the week. Don't be greedy. That's the most important lesson that I had to learn. Don't be greedy. 2.5 handles, 2 handle positions or winning trades, they also stack if you use some size and not just go with a single contract. All right, anyway, what did we leave behind? A bearish fair value gap right here. So we will see how price is using this. We reject it from this old bullish fair value gap that has been flipped into a inversion fair value gap. We open up with a new bearish volume imbalance. So we're going to keep track of that. Volume imbalance. So let's see if we can deliver into the those equal lows, this set of equal lows, or even those three equal lows down here. Very next candle taps us again into our five minute bullish fair value gap. And we closed above our volume imbalance. So if you, let's say, for example, you missed the opportunity right here or you took a full exit this would have been your next best opportunity to get into the short or even the touch of this inversion fair value gap paired with this volume imbalance you even could have entered on this volume imbalance but on this candle right here i wouldn't be so sure anymore this candle would tell me cut some risk it's not worth holding for this trade this is not what you wanted to see you wanted to see this volume imbalance right here after this rejection to hold now we close above it so if i would have been in with two contracts that's my regular position size on a 50k apex account i would cut one contract and take a small loss still let the idea play out and by here i would have been fully stopped out so what did we do here we flipped this bearish fair value gap into a bullish fair value gap we close back above this inversion and also this one right here. So let's see how we continue. On the 15 minute time frame, we can see that we are also back above the inversion fair value gap. It kept holding support with those five minute discounts. All right, so that very next candle gap down, we hold support right here on this inversion fair value gap. Let's see if we can deliver into our buy side target. This is our current buy side. Let's see. Very next candle opens with a volume imbalance up, but we already closed that in. Also note the time, it's 4.30. So this, can, this gap up would also be a 15 minute candle gap up that remained open. So very next candle is closing still inside this 15 minute fair value gap. And note, where did we close? Right on our buy side objective. On our 15 minute chart this is what it looks like so we have a new 15 minute volume imbalance where we would like to see support it is right now 440 we opened up with a new volume imbalance so our take profit target if we now there's pretty much no opportunity for us at least here on the five minute time frame to get into this long at least in my opinion because yeah we inverted this bearish fair value gap but we never came back inside of it to retest it where we would have had an easy continuation entry into the spy side of course we could have used this one right here but the risk to reward ratio wouldn't have been ideal well two handles if we were to target two handles of this inversion of this double inversion so bullish value gap flipped into a bearish one close back above it now we look forward to hold support here once more but immediately once we took buy side, once we tapped into the spy side liquidity pool, we have been rejected immediately. So let's see what's going to happen after that. We have our discounts or our levels that could hold support where we are, go we are going to use them to see how bullish or bearish price really is. Let me drag all of these out. All right, let's continue. We filled in this 15 minute fair value gap perfectly. 
we could see some resistance here. Note the time, it's 4.50 now. We keep closing inside this 15 minute fair value gap back above the 15 minute time frame volume imbalance. We open up with a new volume imbalance. It's 4.55, so that next candle is going to be a new hourly opening. And we open with a new bearish volume imbalance and this time below this 15 minute fair value gap, also below the 15 minute volume imbalance. So we could expect a little bit of a deeper retracement, maybe somewhere inside of this bullish fair value gap. I know there's many boxes on the chart right now. We could get rid of those old inversions. So the chart's a little bit clearer. This would be my high confluence area for an entry. Let's see. Also check the 15 minute time frame on a 15. We have a fair value gap right here. This is our 15 minute higher time frame fair value gap. If we go back to the five, this is the 15 minute fair value gap. I'm going to drag this out and keep it on the chart. I'm just going to use those two time frames. If you do more than that, it's not really beneficial in my opinion. Here's our five minute fair value gap. So we have a high probability area where price could reverse and deliver, deliver us eventually into more buy side. All right, let's see. We drop down into our 15 minute fair value gap once more. It's uh, 9, 5, 10. Next candle is going to be a new 15 minute candle opening right here. We seem to be holding this 15 minute fair value gap. Very next candle continues to push. Now we closed this volume imbalance right in here. Let's see, we got a rejection. Continue. And we seem to be holding this five minutes so far. We also have a five minute below that. Remember that we are inside this 15 minute inversion. Just gonna put it to the left so we can see all the other fair value gaps. Very next candle keeps holding support. So we have we have closed below this first one. So this could become an inversion now where we could use it, we could use it for potential shorts but we still have this area of support and also this old one. I wouldn't fully trust the shorts. We're also outside of the kill zone. It's past 5 a.m. So we do not really take trades anymore. We caught a few good moves, but before I would trust a short, I would at least want to see a market structure shift with a candle close below the 4 a.m. low because there's just too much support here. It's not worth the risk in my opinion. Let's see what that next candle does with us. Now we close below this bullish fair value gap, this bullish fair value gap, and also below our old bearish fair value gap that has been turned into an inversion. The only thing that holding that's holding us right now would be this volume imbalance. So let's see, next candle. We open with a gap down, and no, we actually didn't but we had a bullish engulfing. We're now inside of this bearish fair value gap. So we want to see how price is using that. If we're going to flip it, if we're going to hold resistance, very next candle at 550 pushes right through it. So if we would have been in a short position right here, which I wouldn't do because we are outside of kill zone. Yeah, I would have already cut risk or very likely would have been stopped out. So let's see that next candle opens with a volume imbalance. With that next candle, we get a new hourly opening. So a potential to close or to take out the spy side. Once again, we leave below behind equal lows. They might be targeted during the AM session. We will see. But if we continue from here, we see another touch of this high right here. If we go to the 15 minute time frame, Okay, I skipped ahead like here a little bit. So we see we actually rate the spy side. And where did we close? We close above this 15 minute fair value gap and now it becomes an inversion fair value gap. All right, so from this inversion, let's wait for that next candle. That's a candle that took buy side. We left behind a discount right here. We go to the 15 minute time frame. We haven't have, we don't have a discount there yet. So we have this bullish fair value gap. We have a inversion fair value gap paired with a bullish fair value gap here our old 15 minute volume imbalance right here. 
So let's see if we can use this newly formed inversion fair value gap to deliver us maybe into, I had this level on my chart. If I go to the four hour time frame, we had this fair value gap right here. Let me go back to the five. I wanted to target this four hour fair value gap because price is showing all, only bullish signatures. So let's see if we can use this discount, this bullish fair value gap to eventually deliver us higher. We filled it. We made a new higher close. Tapped into it once more. Did you see that massive rejection? Holding it perfectly. That's what we'd like to see. So the trade idea would have looked something like this. Entry right at the open of the fair value gap or the high of the fair value gap. Stop loss. Yeah, I wouldn't really give it more room because I'm framing a long of this bullish fair value gap. I do not want to place my stop loss just to protect it in case we retrace deeper. Let's say scalp. I place it one tick below this low and I would cut risk. Let's say this candle would have closed below this fair value gap somewhere here. I would have already exited with 50% of my position. So what could we target? We could target two handles. We could target the 50% right here, 2.5 handles into this four hour fair value gap. Yeah, and we see we expand immediately. If we go to the 15 minute time frame, what do we have here? We close above it. So now we look for support of this inversion and this right here is called immediate rebalance. We didn't even give the 15 minute time frame a chance to leave a fair value gap behind here. This candle closed. And let's say this candle would have returned into the inversion and continued to rally from, let's say, this level. We would have had the potential for a 15 minute fair value gap, but we didn't do that. We perfectly balanced or rebalanced this 6 a.m. New York local time bullish candlestick. We didn't leave behind a 15 minute discount, but we did on a five. On a five, we did leave it behind. We can see this is our 15 minute high immediate rebalance. This is also high probability why this fair value gap could have played out on the five minute time frame, and also why we wouldn't have to give it more room than this candle slow. That's 1.5 handles. That should be enough. Yeah. And we easily secure 2.5 handles. I know outside of the kill zone, but overall, just by doing it, just by using this approach, using the language that ICT shared for free on YouTube to frame your bias and your trade ideas. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and yeah, I will see you in the next session recap.